Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something absolutely epic to take a look at. First of all, you can see it's a huge model, but it's not just any old huge model. We've got ourselves a Creature Preacher release. It's been a little while since we actually had something from Creature Preacher up here on the channel, and this is a model I've been wanting to get a hold of since it was unveiled. We have his Carnosaur Tyrannosaurus Rex. This thing is huge when it comes to a creature preacher model i don't have anything that is as large as this and straight out of the gate that is again a very impressive aspect of this figure but also the fact that he absolutely captured the likeness of the carnosaur t-rex in my opinion in perfect fashion like it on top of being massive again looks exactly like the dinosaur does in the film i really think he Clearly did his homework as he always does to capture the best when it comes to screen accuracy with this T-Rex. And uh, honestly, it is so insanely cool to have something like this here because there's just really nothing out there when it comes to Carnosaur, of course, outside of the films themselves. And then we did have the Arctic Figures version, but we know how that turned out. And uh, again, there's just like such a severe lack of memorabilia or even collectibles from Carnosaur. So having something from Creature Preacher, again, giving us a really, really awesome looking version of the Carnosaur T-Rex, in my opinion, is incredible. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at this and we'll check it out from there. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Carnosaur T-Rex, first of all, look at how impressive looking that is, not to mention how, honestly, uh, intimidating, I would say it is. You can clearly see again that when it comes to the head sculpt of the T-Rex, he really did his homework to capture the likeness perfectly. I feel like even the uh, way that the skin appears on the head here of the T-Rex looks exactly as I recall it looking in the film. So as always, Creature Preacher going above and beyond to give us an incredibly, incredibly cool sculpt. One thing you might notice about the figure though is his paint style is a little different than it usually is because he actually went ahead and painted this with paint brushes to kind of give it sort of like a grungy sort of effect I believe was the way that he was going to paint this. He usually uses an airbrush but this time he went with the brushes again to just kind of give it that sort of gritty feel and I feel like he definitely captured that when it comes to not only the sculpts but of course the paintwork as well. You can clearly see that our Carnosaur T-Rex here has its mouth in an open position which is pretty much exactly the way I would like to see the Carnosaur T-Rex displayed because it is portrayed as a very mean and vicious dinosaur in the film so that is definitely a Perfect decision on the part of Creature Preacher. You can also see the eye has been painted with a blue, and that is exactly the coloration that you do see on the Carnosaur T-Rex. We've also got the ear sculpted out back here. We have the nice reddish tone here for the face, but you can see some darker coloration there around the eye leading up here through the palette. You can also see there is a nice gloss coat for the eye, but there's also been like some alternate variations of darker tones, kind of look like maybe they've been dry brushed over here and there to just give it even more variation of color obviously the teeth again are showing here on our t-rex you can see that they've been painted with kind of like a mixture well it's a big figure so it's kind of hard to actually fit it in screen here i'm actually smacking things over here to the side with the tail but you can see that the teeth have been painted with kind of like a mixture of like whites and yellowish tones and stuff to sort of give them that dirty look. And another thing that's really cool, if I can try to get it here into screen, is the fact that you can see the tongue is sculpted out first of all. But the inside of the mouth sports a uh, metallic sort of coloration. And that's something, you can even see it over here on the side of the mouth. And that's something that Creature Preacher does quite often, almost like his calling card is to include some form of like a metallic coloration somewhere on his figure, usually in the mouth, but sometimes you'll find it on the body as well. So of course it's nice to have that Creature Preacher calling card right there. And you can see that does help to give the nice shine for the inside of the mouth. Again, that nice saliva-like look. On the lower jaw, you can see a mixture of sort of like some off-whites and yellowish tones, as well as some black kind of striping through there. That's one area where it's definitely obvious that he used the brush to go for that sort of 
you know, again, kind of gritty look for the paint job of the figure. If you turn it around and take a look back here at the back of the head, you can see that we do have a striping that moves down through the course of the body, a black striping that picks up there on the top of the neck and leads down through the course of the body. You can also see that he's got all sorts of creases and folds in the skin as you move down through the course of the neck, not just in the back of the head, but even down here on the side of the neck leading into the throat. And that is something that you absolutely do see on the Carnosaur T-Rex. So, of course, again, another area where he really paid attention to the way it should look. As you move down, you can see that we continue to have that look. And even this area right here, like the way that that skin is sculpted out is like so spot on to the way that the Tyrannosaurus looks in the film. Like, it's just crazy. You can see just how far he went to really capture the likeness of this T-Rex. We've also got the arms sculpted out here. You can see the fingers sculpted out and the nails are painted with a black which is nice to see. You can even see some muscle definition within the arms as you lead down here along the side of the dinosaur. We obviously have our T-Rex in a tripod position, so we continue to move down through the course of the body. You do start to see the dinosaur pick up a little bit of girth in the stomach region, and again, that's how it looks in the film. You can see the spinal column here moving along the back, and we continue to have that striping effect moving down through the course of the T-Rex. Leading down here into the thigh, you can see some of the scales and stuff popping up, as well as, again, that appearance to the skin that again really looks like it does in the film when it comes to the full-sized kind of uh, prop because I believe that's what he had based this off of because there is the kind of like smaller puppet type version that they had created then there's the full-sized kind of animatronic sort of version that they created as well and I believe the full-sized one is what he actually based this off of but you can see the muscle definition moving down the leg as well as the muscle definition here in the calf you can see more of the skin texture and scale detail right there you've got the knee in the front of the leg you can see a little variation of color he's actually added in almost like some red oranges here in the leg moving down obviously that stripe continues to lead down through the course of the leg almost looks like we can even see kind of like veins in the leg which is pretty cool and then as we move down you can see again that he's added in more variation of color and that is the exact same thing through the entire body like there's no laziness when it comes to his paint apps because it's not like he just applies like one solid tone of color and then moves on to uh, like the striping effect or anything you can see if you get nice and close that there's just like alternate variation of color he's added like maybe like uh, some dry brushing techniques potentially a wash here and there it's hard to really tell, but it does, you know, add a nice amount of realism, I think, to the paint job. As you move down, you can see some scoots moving down the front of the leg, down into the foot, and down into the toes. You can see the toes are nicely sculpted as well. And you can also see that we have dew claws painted and sculpted out over there. And then you lead back here into the tail. We continue to have that striping effect moving out. We continue to have the really cool trademark style skin texture for the T-Rex, as well as that striping effect moving down as the tail leads down here to the ground. Obviously, it's touching right here at this point and then starts to lead back up, giving it that classic old school vintage style Tyrannosaurus look. And you're not going to see too much difference on one side compared to the other side because primarily his version of it here is just kind of standing tall, which is actually pretty much the way you see it usually. Whenever you get more of a wide shot of the T-Rex in the film, it's usually just kind of standing there, not really doing a whole lot. And that's exactly as you see here on his model, which I think is a really nice touch as well, honestly, because it just almost gives you that perfect recreation of the full-size version of the Carnosaur Rex. You can see again as we move down, we've got all the same type of really cool looking skin texture, same type of paint abs, same tones of color moving throughout. The legs and everything are in pretty much the same position as you can see as you move down. They don't look like they're too far off from each other. And again, you have the tail as you lead out. doesn't look like we have any kind of like a turn or anything to the body. For the most part, the head is pretty straightforward. And then we of course have the coloration boy it's really hard to get this guy into screen the coloration for the underside again you can see all sorts of variations of like yellowish tones even hints of red and stuff down here on the underside of the t-rex and you can see the striping effect that moves out there through the course of the underside of the tail again this model is pretty big it's no exaggeration when i tell you that but it is an absolutely awesome looking version of the carnosaur t-rex now, this is a uh, very large figure. I don't know how this is going to go when it comes to measuring it because I have to really bring the camera out pretty far 
to even get the entire figure in screen, which means I'm going to have to push the camera in and maybe just extend the height a little bit so that we can kind of get an idea of the size because otherwise I'd be having to reach way too far and unfortunately my go-go gadget arms are broken for today. So let's go ahead and just move it in and we'll bring the height up a little bit. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So if we go for a length from the tail to the snout about 20 and a half inches or around 52 centimeters and then if we go for a height from the ground to the top of the head I'd say right around 15 and a quarter inches or just a hair under 39 centimeters so obviously quite large and for a size comparison to show you that so as you can see now this thing is gigantic as we obviously have Mr. Papo T-Rex the attack pack Colovasaurus Robert Muldoon and the collect a human being in here which you almost can't even see the collect a human being let's just move it back even more here uh, and give you a better look at everything here. You can see that they are all so tiny compared to this gigantic Carnosaur Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you look at this right here, this comparison I think just tells you so much how impressive this figure is. Like looking at it next to these other figures and just seeing how large and impressive this is, as well as how screen accurate it is. Man, it is an absolute dream come true to have something like this. If you are a fan of the Carnosaur films, I cannot possibly recommend a Carnosaur T-Rex any more than this Creature Preacher version. And again, not everybody's going to be a big fan of Carnosaur. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, I would say, but I grew up watching that movie all the time. I was a massive fan of it and still am to this day. I watch all three of them, no matter how cheesy they are, I still love them. And uh, to have a Carnosaur T-Rex like this that is this huge and just beautifully replicates the dinosaur from the film, I really can't ask for much better than that. And now when it comes to the only other Carnosaur T-Rex that I have ever seen in my entire life, we have the Arctic Figures version here, which unfortunately, again, as you all probably know the situation with Arctic Figures, it's not like it's something that's easily accessible anymore. Although I have heard of people that actually acquired the files selling them and everything all throughout the internet, so maybe you can still get a hold of it, I don't know. But that's the only other Carnosaur T-Rex that I even know of existing when it comes to a figure or model or anything like this. So you can see that when it comes to this, we have two different versions here, one of which is a super articulated version, the other of which here is the more almost like X plus giant model version. And uh, both are absolutely fantastic both i think i could say have their own place in different people's collections or the same place in one collection because if you are you know an owner of the arctic figures version i actually highly recommend picking up the version here from creature preacher as well and i believe that these are both kind of based off of different versions of the carnosaur t-rex the uh arctic figures one i think is based on the smaller sort of puppet version if I can recall correctly and obviously the creature preacher version here is based off of the full-sized version of the t-rex so it's really actually quite cool to see the two of these here together so this creature preacher carnosaur tyrannosaurus rex is absolutely one of the coolest things he's produced but pretty much everything you know creature preacher creates is always awesome he goes and grabs stuff from the absolute most obscure and awesome movies that you just otherwise do not get figures and models from and creates them here for us and that is definitely something that I personally am a huge fan of because he's given me dinosaurs to add to my collection that I normally would never have the chance to add to my collection like the Planet of Dinosaurs T-Rex or the Last Dinosaur T-Rex or the Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus from The Land That Time Forgot or the Triceratops from The Last Dinosaur along with so much other stuff like the Crater Lake Monster like there's just so many amazing models Creature Preacher has created over time but this might be his masterpiece because first of all Carnosaur is amazing it's one of my favorite films as sad as some people may look at that being it's one of my favorite films that I again watch continuously so to have a massive version of this T-Rex is honestly just incredible to me like it's mind-blowing to have something like this and uh because this is so large i felt like we really didn't need any other comparison so i just kind of moved on because i don't think anything's going to compare well with this because it is just so huge there's not much that's going to size up well next to it so i just figured we'd probably move on from the comparisons but again he has done such a great job on this when it comes to the sculpt again 
and uh, really capturing the likeness of the Carnosaur T-Rex. I honestly think, and it's one thing I always said about Arctic figures when I looked at those two together, I always said Arctic was so good at capturing accuracy, but I would actually say that the Creature Preacher version here looks more like the Carnosaur T-Rex than Arctic figures did. So that really shows you how good Creature Preacher is as well when it comes to screen accuracy. I really think that his looks better, especially when you look at the head. I feel like he captured the likeness of the head in perfect fashion like it really looks exactly as the t-rex does in the film if you ask me his paintwork is also very nicely done and you can tell he went for kind of like that more sort of almost like an artsy but at the same time kind of grungy and gritty style like he had mentioned he was going for by using the brushes rather than the airbrushing. I will say I personally do prefer when he paints his models with the airbrush just because he does a lot of really subtle shading and stuff that like always blows my mind with the airbrush and uh his airbrushing technique just really always impresses me. But that being said, I do really quite like what he's done with this one as well. I think the idea of using the brushes actually looks exactly as, you know, he was setting out for it to look. And it does give it that kind of gritty sort of look and feel, which in my opinion is the way that the Carnosaur film as a whole feels. It has that kind of gritty, grungy feel. So to have the model kind of reflect that is actually really neat. So as a whole, again, this thing is incredible and definitely one of the coolest, if not the coolest, release from Creature Preacher so far. And now just having a taste of Creature Preacher's work again really makes me want to get more of his stuff in hand as I know he has quite a few other models, including the Ray Harryhausen dragon that he's recently created. So definitely some more really cool stuff. As Actually, he also created a Mako shark, which I would love to see as well. So we've got more stuff, hopefully in the future, that we will have up here on the channel from Creature creature preacher but for now if you are interested in grabbing this insanely awesome carnosaur t-rex i will include a link in the description to the etsy shop of creature preacher as well as links to his social media accounts in the description again if you want to follow along i highly recommend you do and you can always stay up to date on everything he's releasing and of course stay up to date on when he's putting more stock up on his store so make sure you check those links grab this amazing carnosaur t-rex and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching